Hello, this is Michael with Fieldtech Academy. Today we're going to be talking about how I organize some of my larger parts using flambeau tubs. I had never heard of flambeau tubs until I found these and I've fallen in love with them. I also use some custom made PVC pipe organizers. So let's get into it. Why do I like these flambeau tubs so much? Number one, they're nice and deep so you can get tall wall plates, drywall brackets, and I love the fact that you've got little dividers so that you can actually change the depth of each divider. The reason I chose this was that these dividers are the perfect width to put wall plates in and put them sideways so you can fill this and maximize organization and space. First organizer that we're gonna look at is what I use for my wall plates. You can see that I've got one port, two port, three port, four and six port, along with some drywall brackets. Let me show you a little more detail about how I set this up. I keep about two thirds of each of these as white and a third ivory. Obviously I've got one port wall plates. These receive most Keystone brands. Here I keep my two ports, same thing, two thirds, one third ivory, and my three ports. In this divider, I keep more of a mixture of items. So I'm gonna have four port wall plates as well as six port. And I do again, try to keep ivory and white. Another thing that I keep in this divider are drywall brackets. I love this style. You do have the larger plastic style, which I'll show you in a little bit. These store much better because they are thin. So you can keep, you know, 10, 15 of them in this tub and not have to worry about taking up too much space. If you don't know how these work, they're amazing. You're gonna cut out this hole. Once you have your hole in the wall, you'll put this in and you'll take these flaps and you'll bend one up and bend one down. And there's drywall screws inside this that will penetrate through here and it will grab this and actually pinch it on the wall so this doesn't go anywhere. You don't wanna put wall plates into drywall and just put screws into drywall. You really want a good quality bracket so that your wall plates stay in place. Another item that I keep in this divider, I only usually keep one of these, but this allows for a wall mount phone. This used to be used really prevalently when we had old POTS phones and, and digital phones. But even in today's world with the VoIP phones, a lot of people still want maybe one or two at a site to be wall mounted. So this will allow for that. This isn't actually blue, this is a stainless steel wall plate. It just has a protective cover on it to keep it from getting scratched up. So those are nice. Another thing I keep in this divider are wall plate blanks. I try to keep three main colors, black, white, and ivory. These are perfect for when you're demoing cable or when maybe you make a mistake and you drill a hole in a spot where you need to cover and you've got blank wall plates to cover with. Another thing I like to keep in this divider is a brush plate with a rectangular opening. These are great for when you're pulling through something like a bundle of audio video cables or something else that really won't go through a wall plate. You just need a hole to be semi-covered. Brush wall plates are really awesome. Another thing I like to keep in this tub is a four-way electrical box adapter. This is perfect so you can take that four-way and convert it to where it will actually handle a standard wall plate. The next flambeau bin that I like to use, I divide it up so I have toggle bolts, larger drywall brackets that I talked about earlier, and surface mount boxes. Again, I'm taking advantage of the removable dividers. So I've pulled this out so that I can keep toggle bolts in here. These are so awkward, they get scattered in your van. So this is something you really wanna have a divider for. You know, it's so important with these togglers, you gotta to keep your bolts with them or else you're not gonna have something to thread in. If you're not familiar with togglers, hop on YouTube, watch some videos about these guys. These will hold a tremendous amount of weight. These are perfect for mounting TVs and any other kind of heavy duty equipment. If you do like to use standard drywall brackets, you've got these available. As you can see, they're very thick. They are so awkward in terms of space consumption. So I really like the drywall brackets that I showed you before. They're made out of aluminum, they're thin and flat, take up so much less space. But sometimes it is nice to have this style. The other thing I like to carry in this bin are surface mount boxes. These are beautiful so that you can you know, put this plate on the wall. There are cutouts so you can actually cut this out for however many cables you have and bring them up from the bottom and into this box. And then you put a standard wall plate on them and you can do any, obviously a one port to six port wall plate. I generally try to keep different colors of these on hand as well to match wherever I'm installing. The next flambeau bin I use for organizing J-hooks. J-hooks are another thing that are just so awkward. They take up so much space and you don't want these floating around your van. So I keep a tub of these. I keep some small J-hooks and large J-hooks. So I've got variety for different jobs. The next little organizational tweak that I've come up with is dealing with all your long drill bits. I don't know if you're like me, but I used to have these, you know, one, two foot long drill bits that would just float around my van. And when I need one I had to go hunting through all my stuff to find them. So we came up with this idea to actually make this just out of PVC pipe at Home Depot or Lowe's, put a threaded end on it, 
and you can drop your drill bit straight out. Just a little tip for you. Make sure that you put in your drill bits with the sharp ends down inside the tube. Otherwise, when you try to drop these out, you're going to be puncturing your hand all the time. I love this because I can organize all of these longer drill bits, keep them in one place so I know where they are. And this tube is made out of thick PVC pipe so it doesn't get crushed by my ladders or whatever else is in the van. And we can find them. And when you're done, close it up and throw it in your van. With all the things I'm talking about in the van loadout, to me, efficiency and organization are critical to being successful as a field tech. You gotta know where all your stuff is. You gotta be able to get to it quickly. The more time that you can be on site doing billable work, the more money you're gonna make, then you can get on to the next call. The last item is kind of hard to show because it's so long, but I've built another PVC pipe for organizing my push rods, fish sticks, whatever term you like to use for them. These are things that got loose in the van and they'd be floating around. This is wonderful to be able to do another threaded cap just like the drill bit tube. And voila, if you want to make one of these, you just need to buy one inch PVC. You do not want to get the thinnest type because if it's in your van and ladders get thrown in on top of it or other things, it's going to crush it. We found that out the hard way. So you want to get the um, thicker grade. These come in 10 foot lengths. So you really have to make this about six feet long to accommodate the five feet long fish sticks and the caps and the ends that you have to put on this. So you really can't make two tubes out of one purchase. But even with that, this is probably $20 worth of parts, and then your fish sticks are protected and always where you can find them. My goal with Field Tech Academy is to help you to be a more efficient and profitable field tech. If you got value today, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you're alerted to when we release new videos. Be sure to check out my website at fieldtechacademy.com. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, and I have some other downloadable items that you can purchase that can be very helpful to your income. Let's get you out in the field making money. I'll see you in the next video.